Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Let's see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. Razaban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here Saturday weighing Dan with me, Mick Hennessy Jr. Mick, how we doing mate? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Feeling great. Can't wait to get in there and fight tomorrow. So. How do you feel on the scales? Uh, yeah, it was easy making weight. I normally fight super well to weight. This match was made at middleweight. I came in two or three pounds under, so was, yeah, it's been nice. I had a nice big Nando's last night. I'm feeling good. The mad thing is, is like when I when I saw you go up there, you took your top off, you look <laughs> you look nothing. You honestly, you're probably a, a super feather, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, your your body frame is so kind of like for your for your for your age. It's still quite quite small. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I make the weight quite comfortably. Um, I f yeah, I, um, I don't know. I guess I've still got a lot of physical maturing to do. I'm still young. You know, just turned 23 the other day. What 13? <laughs> You'd think so, wouldn't you? Uh, normally they say about 16, but no, I just turned 23 now. Um, got a lot of physical maturing to do because I'm a slow developer anyway. You know, some you see guys my age sometimes with big chest frogs and beards and stuff. So um, I got a long way to go, but it'll come. You might hit those treatment uh, places in Turkey uh, and get some growth on, uh, on your face. <laughs> no, I let it happen naturally. I leave that. Uh, Mick, you know. Obviously, your dad's been in the industry for a long time, um, successful. He obviously had Tyson Fury and a lot of other fighters. And I know he's kind of taken a back step now with... I, sh I saw how animated he was when, when Chamberlain was fighting William Smith the other month in, in Bournemouth. But I thought maybe you might go down that route, you know, the promotional-wise or manage manage management kind of tier level. But you've turned yourself into a fighter. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm, I'm focused on fighting at the moment. It's not one of them things you can do half-heartedly and dip in and out because you get hurt if you do that. But... Um, yeah, who knows? We'll see what happens down the line. I've picked up a lot from my dad, picked up a lot of experience from him over the years, and maybe that's something to look at after boxing. We'll see. But for now, I'm just, you know, fully focused on fighting. Doesn't say that. Obviously, by being around boxing, growing up in boxing, we've seen Eddie Hearn, who grew up in boxing through his father as well. But have you learned a lot? Have you experienced a lot? Have you seen a lot? Uh, yeah, definitely. I've learned a lot. I've been, I've been, like you say, I've been around it since I must have been six years old. and. You know, I, I, me and my dad are like best mates. We talk all the time. Um, we've got very, very close, and he's always sharing me insights and giving, like, even though I'm not involved in it, I've done bits and bobs for him in the, in the past, but he's always giving me advice around it and stuff and, and filling me in on all information. So I have learned a hell of a lot over the years. Um, and yeah, who knows? Maybe one day we'll see, we'll see won't we? But yeah. When you, when you said to, to your dad that, you know, I want to I be a fighter, that, that first conversation, what was his response? No. <laughs> yeah, but I was only young, to be fair, at the time. I must have been, like, seven years old. Um, he said, you're not allowed to fight till you're 11. And me being a gullible seven-year-old believed it. Well, it's, it's true, actually, because you can't actually have a, an amateur fight until you're 11. But what happened was, on my 11th birthday, he took me down the gym. He stuck to his promise. Um, but what happened was, you get a lot of young kids who have actually been training since they were six or seven so um yeah i was a little bit behind uh, two months in had my first amateur fight and yeah the rest is history but he, he was to cut a long story short he wasn't happy with it no we know obviously you were with uh, channel five your dad had a contract with channel five obviously they i don't know what happened there parted ways or whatever but yeah actually let me ask you what actually happened there and and why did you move away from channel five obviously we'll come to boxer in a second but if you could just elaborate on that so um channel five in my opinion done my dad over bad i'm not gonna lie um, i thought it was disgraceful from them um they were expecting my uh, dad to make a, a silk purse out of the was here, um you know giving him a limit very very tight budget and expecting him to perform miracles in fairness which is what he did you know got fight of the year last year sam eggington versus chiquitu what a fight um, you know, especially when my dad brought boxing to Channel 5, they had absolutely no interest in it. He brought it to them in 2011, brought some of this country's biggest stars through on there, Tyson Fury, i.e., for example. Um, and then, yeah, he's been, he was led along the garden path by them, encouraging him to sign all these great fighters, spend a lot of money, invest on the back of promises that never came off. And it's not only my dad that suffered, you know, in my opinion, the fighters have suffered as well because my dad signed them promising these dates and due to no fault of his own, he's not been able to deliver because of what Channel 5 have done to him. So, um, 
yeah, very hard done by and it's very, yeah, disgraceful. But, um, you know, we move forward. My dad's a, he's a resilient man. He doesn't let anything get him down. And, uh, you know, like I said, I said in another interview, maybe everything happens for a reason. We've got a great situation working alongside uh, Boxer and Sky Sports, putting on some tremendous fights. So, yeah, you've got to take the positive out of some things. Yeah, now obviously we saw um, Sam Egerton is obviously one of your father's fighters. He was on a Sky show a number of months ago. We saw, as I mentioned, Chamberlain was on a Sky show, yourself on a Sky show. So are we seeing a bit of a, a mutual relationship here with Ben Shalom and, and Mick, your, your dad? And, and is this something, is this a platform that you want to be on now moving forward as well? Uh, yeah, like my dad and Ben Shalom, they have an excellent relationship. Um, we, they're putting on some absolutely tremendous fights. You know, uh, for example, two of the best fights this year, uh, Chris Billum Smith versus Isaac Chamberlain, what a war! And Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields, again, unbelievable fight. So um, they're working really well together. And of course, it's amazing for me to be on these shows as well. Such a huge platform, and uh, you know, rubbing shoulders with some extremely talented fighters. And yeah, you know, it, it's great for me to be around. And hopefully, I, I continue to be on shows like this. Is this the platform that you want to be on, Sky Sports? Absolutely, you know, it's the biggest platform in boxing, in my opinion. Like, it's the best platform in boxing. Sorry, um, you know, I'm still young. I'm still de developing. I'm still learning my craft. So maybe go on the odd small hall show here and there just to gain experience and stuff because I've got time on my side. So um, yeah, I'll be trying to get out as much as possible and hopefully on, on a lot of Sky shows as well. Finally, uh, what can we expect to see on uh, Sunday afternoon? Not even Saturday night. It's Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon. roast time. Yeah, you can expect, I, I believe, judging by my sparring and training, uh, my best performance yet. A new Michael Hennessy, um, you know, just a, just a great performance. I, I don't want to say too much, but you'll see tomorrow and um, it's, it's going to be great to get back in there, shake the ring rust off and, and box in London for the first time in three years. So I'm, I'm very happy. Mick, we wish you all the best uh, tomorrow night and I'm sure, yeah, we'll catch up after your victory. Yes, for sure. Thank you very much. Cheers. Mick Hennessy Jr. for IFL TV. Thank you very much. Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, please, different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.